If you come on this show to work with me, what you're going to get is me telling you what you need to know, not necessarily what you want to hear. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise, and I help people like you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios. And as I said at the top, I am not going to tell you what I think you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what I think you need to hear, what I think you need to know. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it just is what it is, right? Uh, you know, you get new investors out there. They got all kinds of crazy ideas or people told them about this or that or the latest guru course comes out, you know, giving people the fluff. Look, guys, when you you get a lot of content providers out there. Their primary source of income is getting you to buy into their product, right? So they make everything seem like it's amazing because all they need you to do is buy the product. They sell you the dream so you can buy the product and then they're done with you. At Holton Wise, we give you the education and then we work with you in the real world to actually make real deals happen, right? So we talk about strategies that will actually work for you, right? And who I'm working with today out-of-state investor named Brianna. And Brianna, it looks like uh, you have a lot of different ideas on different strategies uh, of what you're hoping to accomplish here in the Cleveland market. And uh, most of them are probably not going to work for your specific situation. So first, I want to just kind of like cut down and go through them all uh, like on a line-by-line, case-by-case basis and explain why it won't work or what we can do, right? You ordered a 10-pack for me, so I'll be doing 10 videos for you. And then uh, you were hoping that we could do four of those videos on flips okay you want to flip two to four unit buildings however what you're working with is sixty five thousand dollars in cash so uh, right off the bat I just gotta you know give you an idea of where you're at in the market right 65k is not gonna be enough cash uh, for you to competitively go in and try to flip properties where things are in the Cleveland market the the shortage of uh, multifamily units uh, you just don't have enough money uh, to buy a duplex and completely renovate it and sell it to somebody. 65 k is not enough money. So uh, until you get approximately like $100,000, uh, flips are not going to be in uh, your future. It's just not going to work for you, right? That doesn't mean other strategies won't work for you, but you just don't have enough funds right now uh, to be competitive with flips. So let's cross that off your list, right? Next thing, you were talking about doing some uh, properties on subject two. We don't fuck with subject two, okay? And uh, the reason being is subject two is pretty much a hop, skip, and a jump away from mortgage fraud, all right? Subject two is fucking garbage. So anything you've heard about subject two or anybody trying to tell you that you're going to make a lot of money investing real estate by working with the strategy called subject two is full of fucking shit, right? They're basically a fucking con man. What Subject 2 is, folks, just so everybody is aware. Subject 2 involves you buying somebody's property subject to their existing mortgage, right? So let's say uh, the uh, Get Your Money Right Coffee mug, which is, you know, for sale on the uh, merchandise store there. Let's say this coffee mug owns a house. And then the Rent Tech Direct, the amazing property management software from uh, our wonderful partner, Rent Tech Direct, <laughs> as a mortgage on the house owned by the Get Your Money Right coffee bug, right? And you're the pen, okay? So you're like, do 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 do. Hey, Mr. Coffee Mug, uh, Get Your Money Right coffee mug, I want to buy your property, which is the mouse, okay? I want to buy your property, which is the mouse. And then this person's like, that's awesome, dude. Uh, but I got a $100,000 mortgage on said property. And this guy's like, the pen's like, oh, well, I can only give you $80,000 for your mouse, which has a $100,000 property. And this guy goes, oh, I don't have $20,000 uh, to pay back my bank, so that won't work. And then this 
guy goes, oh, that's totally cool, bro. I'll buy it subject to the mortgage. I don't give a fuck. And this guy's like, sweet, dude. You're going to buy it subject to the mortgage? Yeah. So I just get to walk away. I don't have to, you know, uh, pay off the other $20,000 to my uh, mortgage provider. Yeah, dude, that's totally cool. Great. No problem. So this person, right, this person has an asset, okay, which is the mouse, which is the house, right? This is their asset. Their asset is worth $80,000, as we've discussed, $80,000 asset. But they have a liability, and that's the bank's $100,000 mortgage, which is this cup. So in their life, they're technically negative 20K. They're 20K in the hole. $80,000 in the green, $100,000 in the red. Now, this person, snake oil salesman that they are, they come up to this person, and they're like, it's all good. I'll solve your problems, bro. But they're not solving shit because all they're doing is taking their 80 k asset. Now, they own the 80 k asset, right? Doing this deal, you'd probably do it with like a quick claim deed, right? So there's no title... Insurance policy. I bought it subject to. So now the pen, they own an asset. They own an $80,000 asset. This person who was $20,000 in the hole because they had an $80,000 asset and a $100,000 liability, they're now fucked because they have no fucking asset, but they're still stuck with being on the hook for the credit right? The credit of the $80,000 asset, which they no longer own, this person. And then what this person would probably do is quit claim it to somebody else who's unsuspecting. So then they get a bunch of cash, and then the new person has a property that has a $100,000 mortgage on it that they don't know. So then what eventually is going to happen is this bank is going to foreclose. They're going to get the property back. This motherfucker gets screwed, so he wants to sue people. And then this person is still fucked because they're still on the hook. So after they foreclose on this $80,000 asset, now it's a foreclosure. Maybe it's distressed. Maybe they can only get $40,000 for it. Well, this person is still on the hook for the remaining $60,000 to make the bank whole. Okay? So moral of the story, subject to is bad juju. Way too many people get screwed, right? This person, unbeknownst to them, gets screwed. The person over here that bought the house on a quick claim deed, having no idea that this person has a $100,000 mortgage, they get screwed. They want to sue. They want to sue. This person right here caused all of that damage and carnage. You do not want to be this person, and I do not want to help this person. That would be fucking terrible. So that is uh, how Subject 2 works, but everybody teaching Subject 2 strategy isn't going to explain that to you because it's so much easier to take $5,000, $6,000, $7,000 from you telling you, hey, if you don't have any money, it's totally cool. You can make a whole bunch of money in real estate by doing Subject 2. So that is Subject 2. So for all those reasons, that's not going to work. Next strategy you wanted to talk to me about uh, was two to four unit Burr deals. Uh, unfortunately, just like flips, you just don't have enough money to be competitive in the Cleveland market, right? Because to do a Burr deal, uh, you got to buy the property cash because it's got to be distressed, right? With how competitive everything is right now, uh, you're not going to find anything that cheap, that distressed, right? Other people are just paying more, which leads me to the last thing you want to do, which we could totally accomplish, and that is traditional long-term buy and hold properties using your $65,000 as the down payment. We can absolutely do that. And a great example of that is a property I just looked at for another investor yesterday. He decided not to do the deal. And I thought as I go through all of your strategies with you, this would be the perfect starter property for you because it's going to require a very small amount of your $65,000. It's a highly cash flow positive uh, property, so you can go ahead and do this deal, and then after that, we can continue rolling that into other deals. You could probably take two, maybe three properties down with your sixty-five thousand dollar, and it's a uh, you know completely above board, non shady, low <laughs> lawsuit, uh, low, low you know low 
low lawsuit attracting uh, type strategy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So take a look at the footage now and let me know if this makes sense for you or if you have any other questions on everything I've explained to you thus far. Just hit the market two days ago, dude. 3208 West 92nd, Cleveland 44102, priced at $75,000. We don't have many photos. It's an occupied property. I think, uh, I think... I'm like 80% sure I sold this at some point like in the last five years. Like you have to understand I've sold over $200 million worth of this stuff, guys. So like, you know, we're selling properties like constantly, right? Obviously, this is the 662nd episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show, right? So um, I don't really have any additional info on that other than like it's just a hunch that I sold this one I'm sure I could go look through the data but I don't like remember or know anything of the deal I just wanted to make sure I let you know that what we know from what the listing agent has said is wonderful duplex home on Cleveland's west side cash flow on day one each unit over 1100 square feet large eating kitchen off street parking in the rear and then in their private broker notes that only real estate agents can access I saw that he doesn't know too much about the house under that it, it's in like average condition, right? What that means is like your mechanicals are going to be older, right? Roof older, furnaces older, hot water tanks older, but the price is ridiculous. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. $75,000. As a matter of fact, in this market, you ain't going to be able to buy this for $75,000. I know they're asking $75,000. Ain't no way you're getting it for $75,000, dude. I guarantee you there's going to be a bidding war, right? Because what we have in there, we have one tenant currently paying seven and a quarter, the other paying five hundred, right? That's $14,700 supposed to come in, okay? Now, you got to remember, too, those are $750 units, right? They're being rented below market rent. So you, that $1,225 a month could actually be $1,500 a month. But just using the regular uh, current rent roll, those numbers right now, $14,700 scheduled to come in. I think after fixed and variable expense estimates for the year, you'll bring home approximately $7,216. And I think you'll have to go at least $10,000 over list price to take this one down, Luke. I think if you were able to buy it at $85K, it would be a 19% return on your investment because you'd only have to put down 21 in a quarter. The bank would put down the rest, right? I think 80K, 85K is going to take it down, right? I think 75K is a no-go. I guarantee you there's going to be a huge bidding war. So if you do want to buy this, you are going to need to go above list price, and you're going to need to put that offer in immediately because if you don't act – uh, immediately after getting this video to me, if you reach out to me three days later, I can almost guarantee you it is gone because duplexes in these neighborhoods are usually selling for about a hundred thousand dollars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.